Well, state lawmakers convinced the governor that an East Texas man should not be put to death before it's too late. Thank you for joining us here on a Thursday night. Last week, we showed you these letters sent by lawmakers begging the state for mercy on 59-year-old Robert Robertson of Palestine. He is accused of killing his daughter in 2002. Tomorrow, more than half of all Texas lawmakers say they'll meet face to face with the man they're claiming should be set free. Afraid of dying? I'm not afraid. I don't want to die, but I'm not afraid, afraid of dying. Why? Why? I know I'm going to heaven. That was 2022, but the clock to October 17th is ticking fast. The date set when 59-year-old Robert Robertson will be put to death for the 2002 murder of his two-year-old daughter, Nikki. Nobody advocates for killing the innocent. Gretchen Swann is Robertson's attorney. We're talking about a position very well substantiated by medical evidence that no crime occurred. She for years has claimed that a debunked hypothesis known as shaken baby syndrome and a quick rush to judgment is to blame for Robertson awaiting wrongful execution. She claims the death of Nikki came from other pre-existing conditions that did not include committing a crime on the part of her client. That kind of rush to judgment would no longer be acceptable in any court of law or by any medical professional, and yet we have not yet gotten recognition from the courts in Texas. 86 of the 181 elected lawmakers currently serving the state say they will sit down face to face with Robertson Friday at the facility in Livingston where he sits on death row. Just last week, letters like these urging the state to spare the inmate's life were sent to the Board of Pardons and Paroles as well as Governor Greg Abbott. They are being true heroes here. They're also not the only ones advocating that Robertson should be set free. A group of 34 scientists and doctors, authors, advocates, even the former lead detective Brian Wharton on Robertson's murder case have all come to his defense. Be forever haunted by my participation in his uh, prosecution, his arrest and prosecution. He is an innocent man. As Robertson waits for a potential lifeline in the 11th hour by lawmakers. He's like a kid getting a birthday party for the first time. Um, at the same time, then he's this, he doesn't understand. I mean, he reads what I file in the court case and then says, why can't I go home? He's facing two potential instances. One where he gets granted clemency and is set free or will become the first inmate in the nation to be executed for charges linked to shaken baby syndrome. The final decision rests in the hands of the governor. KLTV will be waiting outside that meeting in Livingston tomorrow where lawmakers will be speaking with Robertson. East Texas Representatives Jay Dean of Longview and Jill Dutton of Ben Wheeler are among the 86 set to be there.